Hey guys, welcome to part four of my makeup room organization and declutter. So um, last night after I left you guys, after I did the bronzers and face palettes, I decided to continue on and do my blushes. And I didn't film it because my phone battery was dead at that point, I had to plug in, but I wanted to keep on going. And honestly, I didn't declutter very many blushes at all because most of them were okay. I had done a declutter a while ago. So I really, there wasn't a lot to go through, but I wanna show you what I did with them. And I was able to fix these Alex drawers here that were kind of falling off the hinges, if you remember from the first episode. And there was nothing wrong with them. They actually just needed to be straightened back up again. So what I did now is I just threw some of my little um, travel bags and things like that that were on the floor. I put those in some of these larger drawers. But um, the bottom half of this otherwise is empty. And what I did with the blushes, I'll show you that. Okay, so moving over here to this unit, you might remember that I had these lipsticks in here, but they were just so hard to get the lipsticks in and out. They were a pain in the neck, which is why I never used those lipsticks. So instead, I took these trays and I thought I would put my blushes in here. They actually fit perfectly. Um, and I think that these will just be really easy to just kind of slide in and out. I was originally thinking of putting palettes in here, but I don't have anything to put the palettes in and I didn't want to just kind of stack them. So I thought maybe blushes would work out a little bit better. And these are organized by brand and also by cost. So I have like my drugstore blushes in this one. And then these two are drugstore and then these two are high end. So I have way more drugstore blushes than I do high end by far. And then in this last one, these are all cream products. So I have like stick blushes, ones that are in um, pots, another one like that. And then these are just tubes, um, liquid blushes. So I don't know, I feel like this worked out really well and most of these have some extra space in them. So if I do expand my blush collection at all, uh, there's a little bit of room for some more, but I'll definitely have to, I think, declutter as I go if I buy too many more, <laughs> which I don't plan to do. So anyway, that's what I did with the blushes. I still have to straighten up these palettes down here and just make this look a little bit neater. And then this top thing here, I did start to clean this up a little. So um, I put some of the lipsticks that I currently wear in these for now but I'm kind of thinking I might want to just put these beautiful um, display cases on here instead of these little plasticky ones I mean these are great for holding lipsticks but I think these are a lot prettier and I have several more of them so I don't know I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with that just yet and I also was able to clean off most of my desk. As you guys remember, this was a huge mess, but now that things actually have their place, I was able to put a lot of it away. The only thing I haven't tackled yet is makeup brushes. I have so many that are just out and loose, so I wanna organize these, I think, by type and try to put them in containers of some sort. And I'll probably leave my brushes, kinda of like I have this bowl of beauty blenders, I might just leave them right here on the desk because if I'm sitting here doing my makeup, it'll be great to just have them out and accessible and as I mentioned before I decided to use these two long drawers for makeup that I use every day or just like my everyday makeup drawer I know a lot of youtubers do that and I'll probably rotate what products are in here pretty frequently like maybe once a season or something um, but for now like I just put some of the lipsticks that I use all the time in this little tray right here so I have like stick lipsticks, then I have balms and tinted lip balms, and then I have glosses right here. So these are the ones that I tend to reach for the most, and I thought just having them right in this drawer and having them on hand would be good. And I'm also gonna do the same thing like for foundations and concealers. I'm gonna put a few blushes and bronzers in here that I use very often, and then um, also eyeshadow palettes. In here I also just put some of the newer eyeshadow palettes I got that I've been using a lot lately, and also my Sydney Grace. Obviously, I have to still put more. Um, I'm gonna go through my collection. Next, I really need to go through the top part of this, which has um, eyeliners and brow products. Also, um, this drawer that has all these cream eyeshadows and stuff, they're so super old. Like, there's stuff that's not even made anymore in here. So I think this entire drawer is just gonna have to go in the garbage, unfortunately. And then um, these down here, these singles, there's a lot of creams again that I'm just definitely not going to use. Some of these are just so old, um, so I'm going to probably thin this out quite a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. I just went through these drawers. So the top one is pretty much the same. Um, I have my eyebrow pencils here, 
And then I have um, eyeliners here. Most of them were still okay because I went through this not that long ago. So um, this drawer was fine, but it was the other ones that really like everything needed to be thrown out, all the cream stuff. So I reused these same trays. These are just uh, ice cube trays basically. So I've, they fit these cream shadows really well. So I have like my e.l.f. ones. I have like my MAC Paint Pot. Um, these ones from Ace Boutte and then my ColourPop Super Shocks. And then in the front here, I just put the Huda Beauty Double Ended Liquid Shadows. And these um, inserts, by the way, I got a couple questions on these last time. So these are just from the Dollar Tree. So I'll go ahead and link those down in the description box below, but they're really, really great. And also the Dollar Tree ones come in two different sizes. So these are the large ones. And then the one up here is one of the smaller ones, or I don't know if it's small or medium, but um, these are the large. So they fit really well in the Alex drawers, just three across. So anyway, um, in here I have my eyeshadow sticks. So these are drugstore ones. I have the Ulta Beauty, Pixie Beauty, um, Beauty Pie, and then CoverGirl. And then in this one, I have the high-end ones. So I have nude sticks and Laura Mercier. And then over here, I have my Koki um, Crystal fusion liquid eyeshadows as well and then over here I set up all of those really pretty glass units that I got from Amazon so I filled these with all my lipsticks I decided against using the little plastic lipstick holders even though they're great they don't look as nice as these do I feel like so this is definitely not filled up by any means. I have space to add additional lipsticks if I wanted to, but I'll just quickly show you um, how I arrange them. So these are lip crayons I have from Doll 10 and also Hard Candy. I have the Physician's Formula Butter lipsticks here, uh, my ColourPop Just the Tint crayons, and then other crayons from the drugstore like Physician's Formula and Maybelline. And then in this one, I just have a couple of random lip glosses that I really didn't have a home for um, from Hard Candy and also this one's from Revlon. In here, I have my Flower Beauty Petal Pout lipsticks, which I love. Those are some of my favorites, so I wanted to keep those like right up top. And then in here, I have some more bullet lipsticks I have from Milani, Doll 10, and Maybelline. And then uh, up here I have my Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks and bullet lipsticks. Also the ColourPop liquid lipstick, which I actually love to use for cream blush. They're awesome for that. And then here I have my ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lips and the Nabla liquid lipsticks. And then back here I have the ones from Kaleidos, the Lip Tonics. So then in this drawer I have the Milani Lip Plumping Glosses. And then on this side I have their Ludicrous Lip Glosses, which are the new formula. And then down here I have the Persona lip glosses, my Lorac lip glosses, and this one is just again a random mix. I have Hourglass, uh, CoverGirl, the Dominique Lemonade lip gloss, and then a Nude Sticks one. In here I have these really cute lip glosses from Japan. They're like um, like a plumping lip gloss. They're really, really nice. I showed them in a video a while back. And the lip tints from Found. And then in this one, I have my Honest Beauty liquid lipsticks. And over here, we have the Found Shiny liquid lipsticks. And then um, in this unit, I just have some random lip liners. And then I was also able to set up the desk. So you'll see it's totally clean now. I cleaned it off, everything. And I set up these drawers underneath just to be my everyday makeup drawers. So this is what I have in here so far. Um, I think it's probably gonna stay this way for the summer unless I wanna switch out some products here and there. But um, these are just some palettes that I wanna keep using for now, like the Nabla Secret Palette. I have my um, Sydney Grace eyeshadows. I also have some of the K-Beauty eyeshadows that I got recently, this Everyday Face palette from Ulta is really nice. Um, the Bare Necessities palette from ColourPop, which I use a lot. And then the Nomad from Juvia's Place. I've really been wanting to play with that one a little bit more. The Norvina palette is always great, like in the spring and summer. And also the Sea Color Feverish. I love that one. Um, this one's from Makeup Revolution. It's the Chocolate S'mores palette. And I love this one. If you like neutrals, I mean, it's basically like an all brown palette. <laughs> and also the Lorac Unzipped, which I really love. And then I have these new um, ColourPop palettes, the Equinox one um, from the recent collection, and um, California Love. And then over here, uh, some foundations that are my favorites. I have the Laneige Cushion that I just got recently, the um, new Armani Neo Nude. Zoeva's Authentic Skin, one of my favorites, the Doll 10 Doll Skin Foundation, which is absolutely amazing. Um, my number seven drops. 
and then the Dream Radiant Liquid from Maybelline. I use this one a lot as well. Um, this one from Soap and Glory is a great dupe for the CYO foundation, the Life Proof one that's been discontinued, and the Believe Beauty. So those are like the foundations I definitely reach for the most. And then primers, I have the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas, my um, Magic Perfecting Base from L'Oreal, the Face Tinted Primer from Coats, and then I have my um, Peach Color Correctors here and two concealers, one from Zoeva, the Authentic Skin, and then also the Doll 10 Doll Skin Concealer, which is amazing. It's super full coverage, but looks really natural on your skin. And then in the other drawer, I have some lipsticks that I use most often. I think I showed these already before. Um, some of my mascaras. I basically just took every mascara that I have open right now. I figured I'll just keep them all together and get rid of them as they expire. Um, these are some brow products that I love to use right now. Um, cream blushes. And then over here we have some bronzers and uh, powder blushes. So those two are my everyday makeup drawers. Those are just the products that I reach for the most. All right, guys, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end this series here because um, all I have to do now is just clean up some extra things, but at least everything has its place. I decluttered all the things I wanted to declutter and just, you know, the anxiety level has definitely gone down significantly. I feel like now I have a place to put things away. I have a lot of extra space going on in this room, so I think we're probably good. In the future, I'm thinking I'm probably going to want to like replace those IKEA units with something else or like those little units um, from Michaels that constantly fall apart when I try to pull the drawers out. Um, so I'll probably look into doing that at some point and maybe just like revamping this room. I also want to paint the walls because I hate this yellow. It was like this when we moved in. So, you know, I still have like a room refresh to do, but at least for now, I feel like everything, like I said, it has its place and I can put all the rest of the stuff away that's kind of hanging out on the floor. So anyway guys thank you so much for coming along on this cleaning and organizing journey with me i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and uh, i'll see you guys in my next one take care bye